Welcome, boys and girls. Welcome back to Wednesday Wisdom. This is a time in which we take a nugget of God's word and we go forth and presenting it in hopes of refreshing your soul. This week may have been a tough start and um, we want to get over this um, Wednesday so that Thursday and Friday we will have a wonderful, wonderful week as we finish strong. So that's the purpose of Wednesday Wisdom is to refresh our souls to get us through the rest of the week. Amen. Amen. And today, boys and girls, we are going to be talking about um, something that I hope will inspire you to want to be the very best that you can be the beginning of this year, all the way to the very end of this year. Amen. Amen. Let us go to our Heavenly Father in prayer. And after prayer, we'll go right into the word. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for bringing us together once again, dear Lord, Lord, to just study another portion of your word. Lord, I pray that your word will be of refreshment to the souls of those who hear. Father, I pray that you will bless the minds of all of us, dear Lord, that we will go forth allowing your word to be our guide, to be that which leads us to prosperity and success. Lord, um, bless the hearts of the hearers. Open up their hearts that they will receive the word as seed planted into their hearts that produces roots and bear much fruit. And Lord, I pray that you will give each of us the courage to go out and put into practice the things in which we've learned so that we can see how powerful your word is, how, how impactful it is to our lives in a positive way. Bless this time that we have together. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, so boys and girls, we're going to pause for a moment and go right into the word. Amen. Amen. All right, boys and girls, we're going to get ready to start the lesson for today. The title of today's lesson is The Five Percenters. The Five Percenters. What is a five percenter? A five percenter, boys and girls, is a small group, the top five individuals of 100 that are standing out, that are doing things in an extraordinary way, who are extremely successful in achieving specific goals. And that is what God wants us to be within his kingdom. He'll be a part of the top 5%, boys and girls, doing the things that he desires for us to do, letting our light so shine that people may see what we do and glorify the Father in heaven. But not only that, boys and girls, not only does he want us to be the 5%ers in, this, in, the, in his kingdom, but he wants us to be the top 5%er in this world that we're living in. The world is only going to change if we step up and step out and be counted as the 5%ers, the top five boys and girls of 100 we are on the top five top five percent of every aspect of our lives we want to be the top five and how do we get to the top five boys and girls it starts by setting goals in other words we start by setting in our minds something that we want to achieve or a destination that we want to arrive at because without the without goals, boys and girls, there is no victory. And without victory, then there's no there's no reason. There's no reason really for, for, for much of anything if you don't if you can't gain the victory. Like for example, what's the purpose of football if there's no goal lines to make touchdown? What's the foot what's the purpose of soccer if there's no goals in order to score? What's the purpose of basketball if there's no hoops in order to ring the goal, I mean, to ring the baskets in? All of these sports have goals. Why? Because at the end of the day, those who are participating in these sports, one of them is going to gain the victory. And that is what God wants from you. And that is what he wants from me. He wants us to be a part of the top 5% because those are the individuals. Or those, are the, yeah, those are the ones who are gaining the victory. They are living that successful life. They are living that extraordinary life. They are living that outstanding life. Yes, God wants us to stand out as the top five boys and girls, not to be like the 95%. The 95% are not doing much of anything. They're not setting any goals. They are not setting any goals. And without goals, boys and girls, you don't know where you're going to where you're going to go and where you're going to end or, or, or when you actually have gained the victory. Why? Because you have no goals set. But if you set goals, then you're going to be a part of something extraordinary because that top, top 5% around the world, boys and girls, guess what they're doing? They're establishing goals. And not only are they establishing goals, they're successfully achieving those goals. And the same goes, boys and girls, with even, let's take this airplane, for example. This airplane is um, taking off from the runway. That airplane is going 
to a destination, right? There's no purpose of him or the airplane actually taking off if there's no destination. Very seldom, no, never have a plane actually taken off just to float around in the air, just flying around in the air. No, they have a destination. They have a purpose. And that purpose, basically, boys and girls, is to successfully reach their destination. And how do they do that? And why? And what? 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 What drives them to do that is they have a they have, they have a goal. They have a goal to reach their destination. Every airplane that takes off has a goal to reach their other destination, and they want to reach it successfully. They want to reach it successfully. That means successful means they did not crash, or, or they were not extremely late, or delayed, or anything along that line. And that is what success is, boys and girls. Success is progressive realization of a worthwhile ideal or a worthwhile goal. In other words, you set a goal. Let's say, for example, the airplane. The goal of the airplane is to get from Memphis to Florida in this, amount of, uh, this number of hours. And so, therefore, guess what they do? They take off on time and they go through the go through all the clouds and the and the rain and whatever else and they eventually get to the airport in florida but let's say they never take off or they take off and they just float around and fly around in the air would they ever be successful in reaching their destination no that's the same with uh, foot in football boys and girls let's say what is, what is success? A pro pro progressive realization of a worthwhile idea. Will a team realize success if, in football if there's no, there's no goal lines for touchdowns? No. Will a team realize um, victory in basketball if there's no goals to, to shoot the ball into the hoop? No. Success, boys and girls, is progressively realizing a worthwhile ideal or goal. And that is what the five percenters in the world that we are living in. And you boys and girls in your school, you want to be a part of the top five percent. That means you want to be on that principles list. You want to be um, um, that person that know where you're going, that you making these steps necessary, boys and girls, to succeed in every one of your classroom. You want to be a part of that top five percent at home, being the person that mom and dad desires for you to be. And to do that, boys and girls, be it at school or be it at home, to be successful, then what you are going to have to do is set some goals. Set goals so that you are part of that 5%. Let's say you want to be a part of the principles list. Here's what you do, boys and girls, to successfully become, you know, come, become successful on the principles list. First thing you want to do, you set that as your goal. My goal is to be on the principles list this, this next quarter or by the end of the semester, semester. You determine when you want to be part of that part of the principles list. And then you want to make sure that this goal that you're setting has purpose. Is there a purpose for you being a part of the principles list? Yes, that means that you are learning, boys and girls. And that also assures you that you're going to make it to the next grade next year. And that's also assures you that if there's any standardized test, a state test that you have to take, you're going to do well on those tests. Yes, there is purpose in being a part of the principles list, right? And now you want to break that down now. You want to break that goal down into smaller chunks. Now you want to be a part of the principles list, let's say for this next quarter. And you are now in the first or second week of the semester. You're in the second week of the semester. Boys and girls, you want to do all that you need to do. Take the steps necessary. You want to pay attention in the class. You want to take notes in the class. You want to do your classwork, and then you want to do your homework. You want to study for tests. Take the time to study for tests. You want to do all of those things. Well, guess what? Why? Because that's where the five percenters, boys and girls, are standing out. Those are the five percenters. The pr those who are on the principal list, they are part of the five percenters. Why? Because they have set their goals to be a part of the five percenters. They're paying attention in class. They're doing their classwork. They're doing their homework. They're um, doing... Take, um, they're um, doing um, the studies that are necessary for the test, and then they go and do their very best on those tests, boys and girls, and that puts them on the top 5%. So those are the small steps that you take. And then there's the obstacles. They will come in the way. Those are the things that want to try to stop you from actually progressing and achieving your goal. Boys and girls, you got to determine in your mind that you're going to work around those things. You're going to work them. You're going to put, you're going to, do, you're going to bear it. Bear down and go through whatever those obstacles are, those temptations to, to quit because it got hard or you're tempted to want to go play instead of studying. You're going to have to um, make a decision. Am I going to 
achieve this goal or am I going to quit? No, we don't want you to quit. You want to persevere. You want to persevere through so that you can achieve that goal and achieve that goal. You become a part of the 5% and you are living the victorious life. And that is what God wants us to live, boys and girls, for in his kingdom and in the society in which we are living is live the victorious life. And to live such a life, we must set goals and then progressively achieve those goals. By taking the steps necessary. Let's say, for example, you want, you said to go, I want to have favor with my parents. I want my parents to, I want to bring a smile upon their face so that they can bring blessings unto me. That's your goal. Is there a good purpose behind that? Yes, because everybody want to be blessed. Everybody want to um, find favor in the sight of their parents. Because good things happens. And if you, if you do find favor, you can ask for certain things. They will trust you with certain things. And they will go get certain things for you. Out of the blue, they will bless you. So yes, there is a good purpose behind it. So what steps do you need to take? Here's just, just little small steps, boys and girls, because you may not, you're not going to immediately achieve this goal. But let's say every day you go home. I mean, every day before you even go, before you leave home to go to school, you make sure your bed is, your bed is fixed and your clothes are, clean, are picked up and your room is clean. When you get home, you make sure after dinner and everything, you wash the dishes. When you, you, you pick up things behind yourself, you sit down and you actually do your schoolwork when you're supposed to do it. When they ask you to do something, your parents, you say, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, and all of those things. Those are steps, boys and girls, that leads towards what? You achieving that goal. Now, when you get tired of doing that, say, yes, you may get tired of doing that. That's those obstacles. But you're going to have to make a determination in your spirit that you want to achieve this goal. I want favor. So regardless of the obstacle, I'm not going to quit doing the good things. I'm not going to quit trying to bring a smile upon my, my, my parents' face. Because if I do, I'm going to find favor. If I find favor, I'm going to receive blessings. And here's the last part, boys and girls. Whatever goals you set, you can succeed them by taking the step that's prog progress and achieving those goals. And you will eventually realize those particular goals. But to guarantee those goals, here's what you want to do with those goals. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter three, verse five through six, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Don't try to go through this process all by yourself, but in all your ways, with all your goals, submit them to him and allow him to actually make your path straight. He will direct you, boys and girls, so that that you can achieve your goals. So I want to encourage you, boys and girls, set goals and do your very best to achieve them. And then look to God to help you so that you can ensure great success. I want to be a part of the 5% of boys and girls. And I pray to God that you want to be a part of the 5 percenters. But for us to be a part of the 5 percenters, first thing that we must do is set goals and not only just set goals and let them sit there boys and girls but then we must progressively realize them that means we must take steps in achieving those goals you know if we take those steps to achieve those goals one day we are going to realize them they're going to come into fruition and guess what we do then we create more goals and we come and we and, and we achieve those goals we are now living the victorious life. I want you to live that victorious life. I want to live that victorious life, but I can't live a victorious life if I have no goals. Because without goals, I never know if I'm going to, if I'm winning. Without a goal, you don't know if you're winning. You just don't know. But with goals, boys and girls, you see yourself claiming the victory over and over again. And that's something to get used to. And once you get used to it, boys and girls, you take that habit with you wherever you go. Yes, you take that habit with you wherever you go, you will always prosper and succeed. So what we're going to do over the next um, um, four weeks, we're going to talk about four areas of our lives, our physical life. We're going to talk about our spiritual life. We're going to talk about our mental life and our social life and how we can establish certain goals so that we can achieve these goals. As we achieve these goals, boys and girls, we are going to live the life of victory, of victory, of victory. And as we live that life of victory, boys and girls, we're going to be set apart. We're going to be a part of the five percent, the top five, wherever we go in any aspect of our lives. We are going why? Because we are setting goals. But not only are we setting goals, we're determining in our heart and in our mind that we're going to achieve those goals. So we are progressively realizing them every single day. When we wake up, wake up in the morning, we got purpose. Why do we have purpose? Because we have a goal. Without a goal, boys and girls, we have no purpose. We don't even want to get up. 
But if we got to go, we got to get up. And when we get up, we got to start breaking forth that goal. I mean, um, and we, as we continue to taste and taste and see how successful we are, we want more success. And as we want more success, we set more goals. And we get bigger goals and bigger goals and bigger goals because we know we can achieve them. And we can do all things. We can do all things and achieve all things as we commit everything that we do unto the Lord and he direct our path. <clears throat> Boys and girls, some good stuff. Good stuff. I want to be a part of the five percenters. And I pray to God that you want to be a part of the five percenters and not the 95 who is doing nothing. Have no goals, no purpose, no aim, no, and definitely not living a victorious life. We want to live the victorious life. And to live that life, boys and girls, what must we do? What must we do? First thing, set the goals. Second thing, determine that we're going to succeed by progressively taking the steps necessary to realize those worthwhile goals or ideals. Amen. Amen. But boy, boys and girls, God bless you. May God keep you. And may you determine in your spirit that you're going to be a part of the top five. Not the 95. That's doing nothing but the five percenters. Amen. Amen.